Hello, I'm Sergeant Josh Lawson with the Kentucky State Police. We receive inquiries and invitations weekly to visit schools and talk to young students about school safety involving an active shooter. The challenge is to educate children of this age level without scaring them. For this reason, we have created this video based on a national model called Be Prepared, Not Scared and are providing it to all Kentucky schools. We hope that this video will be a useful addition to your current school safety programs. Getting ready to talk to some students about school safety, things they can do here at school to ensure that they stay safe. So let's go get checked in, come on. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, I need to get checked in so I can talk to some students. Okay, please sign your name. Okay. And take a visitor's badge. Hey, I think this is our classroom. Let's go on in and see what they've got to say. Hey, I'm Robert Purdy with the Kentucky State Police, and today we're going to talk about safety and how to be safe at school, because we all want to be safe. There's a lot of different kind of things that we do every single day to make sure that we can be safe, and that's what we're going to talk about. So, let's get started. Who, who likes to be safe? We all like to be safe, right? I mean, every single day, chances are there are things that you do to say safe, right? I mean, let's, let's just say, if you were to get into a car, what do you do when you get into the car? Yeah. You um, put your seatbelt on. You put your seatbelt on. Why do you put your seatbelt on? Because if you're in the crash, you might get hurt. You might get hurt. But do you put your seatbelt on every day? Yeah. Even when you don't know if you're going to be in a wreck, right? Yeah. Because you never know when something bad's going to happen. Yeah, and so that's what we're going to talk about today. Just some normal kind of safety stuff. Now, let me ask you a question. At school, do we do anything at school to keep us safe? Like any kind of drills that we may do? What, what kind of drill do we do? Fire drill. Fire drill. All right, so what do we do on a fire drill? What do we do? Um, we go somewhere and we have to be safe. Yeah, what are we trying to stay safe from? Where are we trying to stay safe from? Fire. There's a fire inside the building. Where's the safest place to be? Outside. Outside. And so we very carefully and we walk outside, right? I mean, what does your teacher say whenever we do a fire drill? Uh, don't run. Don't run. Okay, don't, don't run. Because it'll make the... Really? If you're in the fire, don't run. Don't run. And so we, wanna, we all want to walk outside. And where do we go when we get outside? Like, like in the parking lot and raise your hand, but, but okay. I was, I was thought like if you run, then you, then you might not know if there's a fire in front of you, you might step in the fire. My step in the fire, you might trip and fall and slow the people down. And so that's why we got to very carefully walk outside. So, so, so like, so like you can make sure we're walking, so that's why you walk outside. Yeah, we walk. Very good. Because we want to go outside because the fire is... Inside. inside. And the fire is hot. The fire is really hot, isn't it? Yeah, and it creates a lot of smoke. Yeah. Yeah. And then those, and then people have to build another school. Yeah. So let me ask you another question. There's another drill that we do. Let's just say that there is some really bad weather outside. What kind of drill may, may we do to prepare for that? Tornado drill. Tornado drill. Who's ever practiced a tornado drill? What do y'all do to run a tornado drill? Go under your desk. Go under your desk? What else? <laughs> Go in the hallway and cover your, up your head. Okay, so does it look just like this? Yes. Okay, show me. Show me what you do during a tornado drill. Good job! Right? Now, what are we trying to stay safe from? Right. The ceiling. From the ceiling and anything else that may be flying around because there's a tornado, right? Oh, what? But what if we hurt our hands? 
Well, you, hopefully you don't hurt your hands, but we want to protect our head, right? Yeah, because yeah. your brain's there. Yes, because your brain's there. Very and, good. And you have lots of brains in your body. Yeah, you all are super smart, yeah. But like, like the zoo might be falling, so you have to go somewhere or just do that. Yeah. But like, but you have to be make sure it it can't like hurt your hand, and, and make sure it only gets on the back and stuff. Yeah, very good. Which is why we hide under our desk. Yeah. And it, and when we're going on the wall and we're going like this, um, we have to like put our hands over it so our so our ha so our head doesn't get like. Cracks in it like, like when the yeah. wall falls down, it won't feel just like holding like up a wall, just be like holding up a wall. And hopefully, we never have to do it for real, right? But it's nice to practice just in case, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, let me ask you another question Are there any other kind of drills that you do at school? What other kind of drills? A lockdown drill. <laughs> okay. What, what do we do during a lockdown drill? Okay, go into the closet. We lock the doors. Do we do anything else? They turn, turn off the, the lights. lights. There's if there's a stranger, what else? Stranger. We put this thing like <laughs> in mission, or like if some, or if they broke in already. Yeah. So, and, and so you guys can come in there quick. Very good. Do y'all listen to your teachers? Yeah. So what does your teacher say if you're going into a lockdown? They s stay quiet. They say <laughs> to stay by them so they don't get you. So we have to be quiet because we're hiding from somebody that, that may be there that's not supposed to be in our school, right? Like or maybe, okay, or maybe they're, or maybe they're outside and they're trying to get in and we're trying to stay safe inside, right? And so there's a number of different kinds of things we do. We lock the doors, we hide. So we already talked about hiding in the closet, but let me ask you a question. Is there anything that we could do to try to keep people from coming in our door like a barricade do you know what a barricade is do you know what a barricade is what's a barricade do you think that we could put anything in front of the doors to make it harder for people to come inside what could we do what could we put we could put a rock in front of it okay maybe some rocks or shelves what else chairs, chairs? Yes. what else they can bring out the windows so they can Get okay, what would you say? Desk. We can maybe put our desks, a number of different kind of things in front of the door to try to keep people from coming inside, right? And so we're going to try to barricade ourselves inside, much like a fort. Has anybody ever built a fort before? I've got a four-year-old little girl, and she loves building a fort in the living room, right? And so it's like our castle. We try to keep other people out, or we hide inside, right? And it's the same kind of thing that we're talking about. Now let me ask you another question. So we barricade the door, and we try to keep people outside. And has anybody ever played a game hide and seek? Yeah. What do we do during hide and seek? Hide. Hide, hide okay. We hide from the seeker. Yeah, we hide from the seeker, right? And so if there's somebody that comes in that's not supposed to be in our school and they say, we've got to go into lockdown, it's like playing a game of hide and seek, okay? Is I mean, look right? around. You, you could just put... You can hide, like, behind the bleachers or yeah, something. Yeah, right? And no, so there's a number of different... Door, a secret door in there and we can go in there. I wish there was a secret, secret door. But there's all kinds of different things in here that we could hide, right? That would be awesome. So they can't get on the roof. Right. So let's just say that we were to hide. And we didn't necessarily, if we, if we didn't have a closet, where else could we hide? Look around. Do you see any place that we could hide? Where could we hide? We could, we could hide um, under um, the, the chair. Okay, maybe under a chair or what else? What else? Under her desk. Under her desk or where else? Do you see anywhere over here that we could hide? Where? Under the table. Under the table, right? Or maybe you could go in the back corner or hide by the lockers. There's a number of different kind of places to hide or because you could, not or every you could place. Hide in her closet. You could hide oh, in the closet. Oh, I got a great idea. You can just hide right behind the door so when they open the door, they can't even find you because you're right there. You have got all kinds of great ideas, and I like I like where you're going with this, right? I mean, we play a game of hide and go seek, and we don't want them to come find us. But let's just say that your teacher. I mean, because one of the most important things we can do is listen to who? Our teacher. Our we teacher. can listen to your teacher. Our, our mom. 
mom. Or your mom, right? Or, or, or dad. Yeah. But Are you hiding outside the door, um, and there's a person coming out, like, they won't see you because they can... They can smash the door all the way into the wall, and you'll be right there, and they'll just walk out of the building. Oh, goodness. So let me let me ask you something. So when we are at school, we're trying to, we have to listen to our teachers, right? Or maybe our principal or other people at school. Now, let me ask you a question. What if the teacher said, hey, you know what? We need to leave, right? If a bad person is in our school, maybe sometimes we should go where? Outside. Outside. A lot, a lot like a fire drill, You're right? Outside. You're You're outside. You can run from you them. Like, like, you can run. Who's played tag before? What do we do when we play tag? Tag. Run. run from who? The taggers. The, the tagger, the person trying to tag you, right? And so we can run and we can try to get away. So if your teacher says, hey, we need to go outside. And y'all need to run. Where are we going to run? Outside. Outside, because no, we're trying to get away. Outside if you're already like, um, in the school, then you, then you should, then you can kind of go all the way to Speedway and hide. So yeah. we could, you we can could, hide at Speedway. we could hide at Speedway. So you're just going to listen to your what? Teacher. Whatever your teacher says. Wherever your teacher says to run to is where we're going to go. Get a slushy. A slushy? Hey, that would be awesome. Who wants a slushy? Me too. All right. So let's talk about another thing. Has anybody ever heard of stranger danger? Stranger. Ooh. When I say stranger, you say danger. Stranger. Danger. Stranger. Danger. Now let me ask you about stranger danger, right? What what is stranger danger? Um. Um. If. A per, um, a person, um, if they come into your school, uh, that means a person that, that doesn't belong to your school, they don't go there. Right. If you're close to somebody, say, stranger danger. Stranger danger. So, I was, I was, I've got, my, remember I said I had a four-year-old little daughter? And I asked her the other day. I said, honey, stranger danger, have you ever heard of it? And she hadn't heard of it. I said, what if somebody comes up to you that you don't know, right? Should you go with that person? No. No. Yeah, yell stranger danger. And so I said, I said, what if they what if they stick out their hand and they say, come with me? Should you go with them? No. No, right? No. Not even if they give you if they give you some candy, just don't accept it. Yeah, don't accept it. And I said, well, what if they what if they pick you up and they start walking off with you? What should you do? Yell stranger danger. What else can we do? Okay, try to jump out of their hands. What? What do you think we should do? Okay, maybe hide. If they pick you up, what can you do? Um, you 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 could like use like a you you could like punch them and get them off. Very of good. I talked to her and I said, if somebody picks you up and starts walking away from you, you should yell and you should scream and you should hit them and you should kick them and you try to get everybody's attention, right? Yeah. Is it okay to punch somebody that's trying to take you like that, the, a stranger, right? Because we were trying to stay what? We're tr we're trying to stay safe. So I say stranger, you say. Now let me ask you a question. What if you were to see somebody walking through your halls that didn't have a visitor's pass and just didn't look like he should belong here? What should you do? Hide. Okay, hide. Oh, yeah, stranger danger. Who, who could you go tell? If you, were, if, you could, if you saw somebody in your school and you thought, I don't recognize them, right? They're not You can John's run to your dad. house and tell your mom. Who could you tell at the school? Could you tell your teacher? You can run to the principal's office and tell her. Yeah, so if you see somebody that doesn't belong, you could always tell your teacher. Right? You go to the big microphone thing and go, there's a stranger. <coughs> there's a stranger, right? And so all of us working together can keep each other safe, right? I mean, you can help, and you can help, and you can help. Every single one of you have the opportunity to, to keep people safe, all right? So stranger, danger. all right. So there's a couple other things that I want to cover and then we're going to review, okay? Now let me ask you a question. If you, whoever goes outside when you're at school, 
you ever go play on the playground or go outside and play? Yeah. Do you have to go out any doors to come back inside? Okay, so when you go back out and you come back inside, what do you need to make sure about those doors? To make sure they're, make sure they're closed, right? Because this school right here, this is like our fort. This is like our fortress. And the only way to keep us really safe here is to what? Lock the doors. Now, what if you're walking by the door and somebody standing outside and goes, Don't Can you please let me in? What? Don't open it. Don't open it because who are they? Strangers. Stranger. Okay, or maybe no, maybe you should go tell a teacher, right? And let a teacher make that and determination. All right, but they're not even supposed to come in a back door even with a visitor sticker, right? They should always come in the front door. So it's like being at home. Should you just walk up, you hear somebody knock on your door, should you just go open the door and say, Who are you? No, and it's the same thing at school. You should let your but teachers if, and your but principals if you have a make a decision. Door, you could just look through the glass and see if you recognize it. Okay, them. maybe, but maybe it should be somebody else that opens the door, especially at school. All right. Same thing with windows. Should we leave the windows open? No. No. Okay. But they can break the windows open. They can break the windows. So we're going to review. All right. So when we are at school, who should we listen to? Our teachers. Our teachers. Our teachers. Okay, now there's a number of different kind of drills. If there's a, a fire, if we're pretending there's a fire, what do we call that drill? Fire drill! Fire drill. If we are pretending that there's bad weather and we're going to hide underneath our desk, what do we call that drill? Tornado. Tornado drill. Now if we're going to pretend that there's a bad person outside, what's that called? Lockdown drill. Lockdown drill. Very good. And during the lockdown drill, what are we going to go do? Um, you go hide. We're going to go hide, okay? Or well, you can run outside. Well, we're not going to run outside unless the teacher says we're going to leave, right? Otherwise, during the lockdown, we're going to stay inside. And if you hear the speaker say that from outside, yeah. then you could just then you could just go, oh my, we got to run yeah. the speaker. Now, if we're going to create a, a fort in here, what are we going to put in front of the doors? Um, um, a big rock, or you can put a chair in front of it. Okay, maybe some chairs and a desk. What's that? What else? Bricks in a desk. Bricks, I want, I like the brick idea. A lot of bricks in ten desks. Yep. Stacked up on each other. All right, and the most important thing to remember <laughs> is to listen to... The teacher! Your teacher. <laughs> hey, we've talked about a number of different kind of things about how to be safe at school and also in everyday life. It's all about being safe and prepared. We don't have to be scared, all right? If you do ever need anything, don't forget to give us a call at 911, and you can make sure that you can get a hold of us. But until next time, y'all be safe, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.